Hey everyone, it's Andrew Brown, and in this video, we're going to look at how to swap out uh, the endpoints for S3. This is just general knowledge for working with um, the AWS CLI, but uh, there could be a case where you might want to explicitly set the endpoint URL for it. And so I figured it's a good opportunity for us to get practice. So if you are here on the AWS CLI, uh, and you click the AWS logo, there is a link up here called Command Reference, and this is gonna provide us all the global options. And in here, we're gonna have one for endpoint URL, and that allows us to override the endpoint uh, to whatever we want. So this, again, is applicable for multiple services, not just for S3, but I figure we'll demonstrate it in this one. I've opened up our um, uh, Git pod environment. So here with the AWS examples, of course, use whatever you like. I have a new folder called dual endpoints, and we have a readme. And the idea is I wanna go ahead and create uh, this folder. So hopefully my credentials are already loaded up here. So I'm going to go and copy this and paste this in down below and say allow. And uh, hopefully I already have credentials here. Made a bucket. Actually, I'm not even sure who I am right now. So I'm going to just go ahead and make sure I'm not the uh, root account owner. No, I'm just AWS example. So that's fine. And so that bucket has now been created. So we'll just say create a bucket. And uh, the next thing I want to do is I've created the bucket. Now I want to um, uh, upload a file to S3 using standard endpoint. And then we'll just say this one with the dual stack endpoint. And I don't know which one it is using by default. I'm not exactly sure how we can uh, uh, see that in AWS CLI. I've never figured that out. But um, what we'll do is just touch a new, uh, new file. So say touch. Um, standard.txt and then for this one down below it'll be dual stack and then we'll say AWS S3 copy standard txt and then we'll grab this here and paste that on in and then we'll put in dual stack All right, so we have standard and dual stack here, um, but the thing that we need to change is the endpoint. So I'm gonna say endpoint URL, and I'm gonna explicitly set this to be S3. And so we're in CA central one, so we have to write it this way. If you're wondering like where I'm getting these from, I'm sure we, if we looked up AWS S3 endpoints, we could probably see a big list of them somewhere in the documentation. And so here they're showing all the possible ones. So I said in the lecture content, there is more than obviously two. And there's a bunch of variants. So the idea is that we need to find one that makes sense for our region. So if I'm in Canada CA Central 1, I'm just going to look for that here. All right, so we have this, 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 like FIPS, dual stack, et cetera, and some variants. And it's important to check because this endpoint could vary uh, in different locations. It should be pretty much standardized, but just in case it isn't, you might want to check that out. So I'm going to go ahead and um, paste this in here. And we'll go back over to here. The other thing we want is dual stack, this one here as well. Notice there's like a double asterisk on the or on the bottom that usually indicates something here. Supports requests for S3 buckets over IPv6 and IPv4. That sounds great. So that's all they're saying there. And uh, so for this one, we'll just, just trying to paste it somewhere here so it won't mess up. We'll paste that in. And we'll say endpoint URL. And we're just expecting both of these to work, right? That's all we're looking to do here. So CA Central 1, S3 CA Central 1, that looks good. So let's go ahead and run each of these commands. So we'll go ahead and, well, before we do that, I'm going to just make sure I'm in the correct directory. So I'm not making a mess here. There we go. And so we will touch standard. and hit enter we will touch dual stack and hit enter and so those two files are now uploaded and they both worked and there was no issue so that's really all i wanted to demonstrate there that it's as simple as that and it should just work let's go take a look and see if those files um, are in that bucket so this one was called I don't know what we called this one. What do we call this bucket? Endpoint test. There it is. And so there are the two files. So pretty straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and clean up. 
So we'll go here, say AWS S3 remove. And we'll grab this. And we'll paste it in here. Say dual stack. So remove those two there, those two files, and then we want to delete the bucket. So we'll just go ahead and do the rest here. So these three commands should clean this up. Just gonna go ahead and put in our markdown here. There we go. So let's copy this one, enter. Let's copy this one, enter. And then we can delete the bucket because we need to empty the bucket before we can delete it. And there we go. So that's all I wanted to show you and we'll see you in the next one. Ciao.